All right, Odoers, here at Stealthywood, some of our workflow requires extra devices. You know, like receipt printers, measurement tools, and we need a way to connect these devices to our Odoo database. Now, thankfully, and this will always be the case, Odoo offers an Internet of Things, or IoT Box. Now, this handy little box helps my devices and my Odoo database talk to each other. Now, the IoT Box integrates my gadgets with my company's database to manufacturing, POS, and even more. Now, as a quick example, say I'm doing a quality check or QC for my acronym lovers for my manufacturing process. Instead of manually entering the measurements into Odoo, I can just connect the measurement tool with the IoT box, and the tool will automatically send the measurements to Odoo, and I don't have to type stuff. Now this helps to automate operations, it speeds up our workflow, and it reduces mistakes from manual entry. I got butterfingers. Now a few types of hardware do not require an IoT box to connect to Odoo. For example, cash registers, and certain printers, scales, and payment terminals can be used on Odoo without an IoT box. For other hardware though, like cameras, measurement tools, other printers, and other payment terminals, we will need an IoT box to connect them to Odoo. Now for a full list of IoT compatible devices and some recommended brands already tested by the Odoo technical team, be sure to check out the Odoo website for more information. So now that you're up to speed with all that, let's jump right into it. All right, Odoo, so the first thing we want to do is we want to make sure that we have the Internet of Things module installed in our Odoo database. So you're going to search right up for it, IoT. Perfect. All right, now we're going to install that. Now, when we install the IoT module, we're automatically signed up for the monthly IoT subscription. So check with your account manager before installing it. We can't use the IoT box without the IoT subscription and the IoT module as well. So while this is installing, let's talk a little bit. So let's check out this IoT box now. Now, as you can see, this is the Odoo IoT or Raspberry Pi 4. Now we use this device because of its size, its high performance, and its price. We are very fiscally responsible here. Now as you can see, the IoT box or Raspberry Pi is actually a very small unit. Instead of a hard drive, the IoT box has a micro SD card. We have a 32 gig card installed right now. Like any computer, Raspberry Pi offers various micro SD card sizes and RAM options. Odoo uses a Raspberry Pi 4 Model B with 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now we can also see that the Odoo IoT box has several ports available on it. Here we have four USB ports. There are two USB 2 ports and two USB 3 ports. Now the blue USB ports are the USB 3 ports and will also connect USB 2 devices as well. Backwards compatibility. We love it. Now this is where our devices will all connect. Now, also here you can see the RJ45 port, or Ethernet for layman's terms right there. Anyways, now this is where an Ethernet cable will connect the unit to our network. Now, if all these ports and plugs are too much for you, it is also possible to connect the IoT box using Wi-Fi. Now, the unit is equipped with Wi-Fi, which we'll cover in another video. So be sure to check that out as well. Nice little shameless plug. Now there are a few more ports on the long side of the IoT box, starting on the left side. There is a USB-C power supply input. Next we have two, yes two, micro HDMI ports capable of 4K displays. And finally we have an aux port. Unlike a lot of companies, we still, you know, we still have one of those. And that's pretty much it for the unit. So as you can imagine, you'll also need cables to connect the unit up. So be sure to keep that in mind. In fact, there's many cables you might be needing to hook stuff up in our case. Now, today we learned all about the IoT box and what ports we can use to hook up our gadgets. Now, so you may be asking yourselves, what can be hooked up to it? So, many different things. We can hook up human interface devices as well as recorders and that type of stuff. Such as the controller that I use. This can include foot pedals as well and other things. We also have stuff such as measuring tools for audio devices and other things. And even stuff such as scales and cameras in case you want to hook up cameras. Beautiful, isn't it, O'Doers? Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.